Hey, it's Zana. Welcome back to my YouTube. And if you're new here, hi. I'm an independent music artist. I write, record and produce my own music. And I also film so many videos talking all about relationships and shadow work, emotional regulation, and so, so much more. And for this video, I was thinking about why and how I have been able to continue making music and continue like creating videos and stuff when I would literally be so crippled by fear and so stuck in it like to the point where I would cry <laughs> so many times especially when doing vocal exercises especially when filming videos I would literally get the camera out to start filming and try and talk and it would just make me cry because I felt so unworthy and so uncomfortable being on camera and that was only a few years ago that this would happen and I was looking at why and how I then managed to carry on filming and and get to this point where I actually feel quite comfortable to sit here and ramble even when it takes me multiple attempts to do it because I stumble on my words and stuff like what is it that got me to this place and what I've actually realized is that I love myself more than the fear which is such a wild concept to me because a few years ago that would never ever ever have been possible but now I'm at this place and I don't know if you can relate to this or if you're trying to get to this place where like the idea of being authentic but also the idea of um, like doing what you love and pursuing your passions is so much stronger and like pulls at me so much more intensely than the fear does. And a few years ago, the fear was so intense, like I said, to the point of crying and stuff, but like it was so intense that it would take me so many attempts to get the video perfect or how I wanted it. And I would take them down and then I would film them again and like keep trying and keep changing things. But behind all of that fear and behind all of that self-doubt that led me to take these videos down was me still trying to film again, you know? And like sometimes when we're so caught up in the fear, we don't actually notice how much we're trying. We don't notice how much self-work we're doing and shadow work we're doing. In fact, you can notice this in so many different areas of your life, including relationships and stuff. Like you don't notice how far you've actually come and how much work and effort you're putting into this because you're so focused on the fear and so focused on how much anxiety is coming up like when that comes up in your body it can be suffocating and you get so wrapped up in it that you don't notice anything else around you you know and especially noticing how far you've come I've realized that I didn't actually realize that I've come so far that now fear doesn't really come up anymore not when it comes to filming and being authentic. It definitely comes up in some circumstances, like social media is an overwhelming place full of so many people's projections and spitefulness and all of this. So fear definitely comes up in terms of that. But when it comes to me sitting here and talking about a topic that I've written down, you okay, baby? My daughter is just chilling in her bouncer and playing with her toy. So if you can hear her, that is what that rustling noise is because she's got a little like papery toy. I don't know what it's called, but anyway, that's what you can hear. But yeah, getting back to the point because she's so cute, she's distracting me. Um, I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> But anyway, you can often get so caught up in the anxiety and the emotions that come up that you kind of jump out of your body and don't really notice exactly how far you've come and you don't pay attention to anything else in your life. And yeah, that's just something I'm really starting to understand for myself is that my... <laughs> what was that? Is that my level of self-love, my level of like just needing to be who I am. Maybe it's because I'm now in my 30s, I'm now 30, and I feel like my whole 20s was self-discovery. <laughs> oh, Bubba! Are you okay? You wanna cuddle? Ugh. Oh, my angel. Oh, my angel. Shall we feed you? Oh. 
Okay, <laughs> we'll stop this again. But yeah, anyway, maybe it's because I've reached 30 and I'm just like at a place in my life where I feel more secure. I don't really know, but I definitely just feel like authenticity and being who I am and creating the content that I actually enjoy is so much more important than trying to get external validation. <laughs> yeah. And literally just a couple of years ago, that was not the case. That's not how I felt at all. I wanted that validation. I wanted to be liked. What are you doing? <laughs> you know you are highly distracting, Missy. Yeah. Shall we lay you down? Are you looking at you? <laughs> She is fully looking at herself in the mirror right now. So I'm gonna just let her do that. She is her mother's daughter and her father's actually because he is very much like that, isn't he? Yes. <laughs> but yeah, just the idea of being authentic and doing what I love and actually experiencing joy on a day-to-day -day basis is just so much more important to me than getting external validation. And a few years ago, that was not the case because I wanted all of the validation. I wanted to be liked. I wanted to belong. I wanted to be valued and be seen as worthy and all of that stuff but ultimately I just didn't see myself as worthy, you know? And now I'm really trying to work on that core belief because I just don't like how it makes me feel and I don't like the way that it holds me back from creating the music that I love and all of that kind of stuff. So I'm really working on that belief and I don't know if there's core beliefs that you have that really hold you back and stuff, but I highly recommend doing your shadow work and really trying to change them and obviously that's not a straightforward easy process like it takes time it takes effort and all of that stuff but it's just so so worth it and I'm just understanding how the majority of our negative beliefs stem from a lack of self-love and so this is like the ultimate core belief that I'm having to work on for myself so that it can change all of the others you know it's kind of like the foundation but yeah I just think once you get to that place where being who you are is more important to you than anything else in life like just being who you are and doing what brings you joy when you get to that place where that becomes the priority I feel like everything else just shifts and you just get more comfortable in your own skin you get more comfortable in the decisions that you make like you stop doubting yourself as much and don't get me wrong doubt still happens but like it's not as much because then you come back to your own truth and you start tuning back into her, like, okay, let me block out all of this external noise and let me just come back to who I am, like the truth of who I am and what I actually want and my sole mission and my passions and my hobbies and what brings me joy and stuff and get really clear on that. And then when you start to focus on that again and all of the other noise falls away, then you're like, oh shit, okay, that's what I wanna do. This is what I wanna focus on. Like, this is the direction that I wanna go in and the path that I wanna walk and it just, I feel like it just frees you up a bit and takes the pressure off and takes the external societal programming off as well and all of those kind of societal pressures and norms. And yeah, you just kind of get clear on your own truth and yeah, I don't know, I'm just feeling a bit liberated today and I wanted to talk about it because I think just owning your own authenticity is such a powerful thing but this is like the main thing that the majority of people struggle with and it's something I struggled with for so long and I still struggle with it some days, don't get me wrong, but like just doing the work to get to this point is something that I'm really starting to notice and reflect on and I wanted to just share it with you and hope that it inspires you to keep getting clear on your own truth. <laughs> yeah, that's what you need to do too, my Miss Azaria. Definitely something I'm going to teach her as well. Just get clear on your own truth. Oh. Oh. Okay, she's very, very clear on what she wants and needs all of the time. And yeah, getting clear on that to go in the path that serves you the most. So yes, I think Missy is getting a bit aggy again. Are you okay? Are you okay, my bubba? Mwah. Let's give you your toy. 
even the fact that my daughter keeps talking or not talking because she can't talk yet but keeps making noises over my video and then I have to keep getting up and going and picking her up and like feeding her part way through and stuff like normally I would want to edit all of that stuff out and then start the video again with like Ben looking after her or something so that she doesn't interrupt the video like normally I would want it to be completely perfect and now I'm just realizing you know what this is me this is the chapter that I'm in you know this is just my life and it's the reality of being a mum and trying to film videos and stuff so we're not gonna crop it out and we're just gonna let it be authentic and a few years ago that would not happen so I'm quite proud of myself and how far we've come the fact that I'm willing to just leave all of this stuff in here and like, I'm literally playing with a toy with her right now while I film at the same time to keep her kind of happy, you know? Like, I'm just meeting her needs at the same time as meeting my own. And I think that is just a huge, huge game changer. Most of us don't try and meet our needs. We just sacrifice ourselves for other people. And yeah, it leads us to so much suffering. So I'm no longer doing that. And I hope that this inspires and encourages you to no longer do that. Like, you can meet your own needs at the same time especially when it comes to children obviously you need to meet their needs but like you still need to meet your own as well and make yourself happy so yeah I hope that this inspires you to just go out there and be authentic and be who you are and trust that your tribe will meet you whenever it's time and in the best ways like beyond what you could even imagine so yeah just going in the direction that you want and that serves you the most regardless of what anyone else is doing <laughs> and honestly it's such a game changer but yeah I'm gonna leave this video here because <laughs> Azaria probably wants feeding again and yeah I need to go film another video for my vlog because I forgot to give context to all of the footage that I have when I started editing it so yeah I hope you have the best day and I will see you in the next video don't forget to check out the description box below to links to everything about me including my music my crystal jewelry my phone number our telegram group chat and I will yeah you tell her tell him goodbye and I will see you in the next video bye